Well, Corey Johnson is a city councilman in New York City. There's a lot going on there in New York City, but instead of dealing with those things, or maybe in addition to that, he's trying to intervene in national politics. He's written a bill that would force all city concession contractors to release their tax returns, but only if they have their personal name on their business. Huh. Almost looks like the bill is designed to force President Trump and only President Trump to release his tax returns due to his ownership of a Trump-branded golf course on city land. Councilman Johnson joins us tonight. Councilman Johnson, um, I mean, one of the basic tenets of our system is that government can't pass laws to affect individuals. They have to affect behavior. You can't just single out one person with a law. And yet that seems like exactly what you're doing. Well, Tucker, first of all, thanks for having me on the show. Uh, I've admired you for years. I like oh. John Crossfire way back when, <laughs> Miss Bob Novak. Uh, I, uh, this bill is okay. not just about uh, President uh -huh. Trump. This bill would pertain to anyone in the future who goes for a city concession contract, who emblazons their name on the property and is making money off the city of New York. Uh, I, I sort of feel like this is not to minimize this important topic. I'm like a lowly little city council member on the west side of Manhattan, and I feel like there is much bigger news today, which you've been talking about during your show. Well, you've got but bigger the tax problems returns now, but I used to live in New York, yes. and that's why this story caught my attention. Now, you preside over a city that just decriminalized public urination, okay, and the effects are really obvious, at least where I was living in Midtown. There's a lot going on in Manhattan, not all of it good, and you're taking your time to basically grandstand on the national stage because you don't like Trump. Now, it's okay if you don't like Trump. I'm not mad about that. But how about filling some potholes and, you know, arresting some public urinators? <laughs> well, Tucker, Seriously. Tucker, this is the first time I've heard a connection between public urination and President it's Trump's tax returns. First it's time disgusting. I've ever heard it. Uh, this is really about getting some transparency and accountability. Do you think the president should release his tax returns? I don't know. I'm not a city councilman know. in the city of New York. You don't know. I mean, what? You are maybe, an opinionated, maybe, smart so guy. Maybe here, look, I'm not trying to pass a law designed to force him to release his tax returns. You are. And I'm merely saying, A, you ought to admit it's about Trump. It's not about any of your other concession holders in New York City. And B, is it right for government, is it not an abuse of power for government to craft a law aimed at an individual? I mean, this is like a pretty basic principle of, of the British law that we inherited and well, that our system is based on. What I, what I find, first of all, if, if this did pass the council, which I hope it will, I'm sure our litigious president will litigate it. Uh, he hasn't really had much respect for the courts in the past were jurists or judges, so who knows what he will say and what will be done. The thing I find more offensive here than a lowly city council member writing this legislation is the fact that he is not being held accountable, he is not being transparent. The revelations today about the conversation with Comey, Michael Flynn's connection to Russia, all of these things should, should uh, want us to know what okay. the president's connection is to Russia, to if run? he has any wait, business hold interest. On, wait a second, we have an entire Congress to deal with this. We have a whole media that hates Trump that can work on this. You don't you're hate supposed him. To be, you you're don't supposed Trump. to be... Yeah, I'm like one guy in a <laughs> sea of people who wake up every morning seeking to get him who impeached. Who else on I'm this channel saying, hates Trump? Look, I'm, I'm making a point. You have a very specific job, and it's to help run a city of 8 million people, some of them unruly. The city itself. Have you been to Penn Station recently? It's in my it's district. It's a homeless shelter. It's disgusting. It's in my so district. so why are you wasting? You give these speeches, and I just read one where you're like, you know, Trump is bad. By the way, ignore the guy living, you know, under the ATM machine. Or relieving himself. Oh, Tucker. Next to, I'm serious. Tucker. I go there every week. Tucker. That's your Penn Station is yours, and you're worrying about Trump's tax returns. Are you joking? Have you been to the men's room there? Dead. I'm a dead serious question. Have you been to the men's room in Penn Station? You know, I, I, I uh, unlike a re former Republican, right unlike, unlike, I'm, I'm asking for, you a serious question. Unlike, it's your job. Unlike former Republican Senator Larry Craig, I avoid men's rooms. Uh, for me, uh, I am focused on all the issues Wait, that affect what? my district. Look, there's what no. I'm 
some people You're talk, the one that brought up men's rooms, not me. I'm here to talk about Trump's tax returns. Normal people use the men's rooms in the train about, station, and your I yours am here are to disgusting. talk about Trump's tax returns. And now you're returns. complaining about his tax returns? You know, are you kidding? Just what, one last thing. I know we have to go. We need an independent prosecutor. Okay, That's but what we first need. we need Clean's men's rooms at Penn Station. Okay. And you're the guy in charge of that. Talker, Call your congressman for the independent counsel. Talker, Why don't we, you get we, on those we, bathrooms? We need an independent counsel to look okay. into what's going on. Yeah, well, that's not going to clean. That's not going to make it okay for we my should kids do to use the, the Republicans are trying right, to destroy right. the social state. All right. Corey, we're out of time. Thanks. I'm sorry. Congress ban. The bathrooms are horrible there, by the way.